Yeah, that's right, Meg. As you mentioned, the governor's executive orders are requiring children to wear masks inside the classroom or daycare. And we're here at Covenant Healthcare's Children's Center, where they say they're adapting to those rules rather well. I have half of the pre-K class now. They're all wearing masks today. Here at the Covenant Healthcare Children's Center, everyone is masking up due to the governor's executive orders. And it's something that staff say hasn't been a new situation for them, but can be a big adjustment for the kids. Now with the executive order coming out, we are going to be requiring our pre, you know, anybody four years uh, and up to wear a mask in common areas. So hallways, um, you know, if they're walking through classrooms and that kind of stuff. Program director Nicole Suitsman says keeping young kids in their masks throughout the day can be a challenge, but explains that cleaning and wiping down workspaces and play areas several times a day can sometimes be even more daunting. If they sneeze on anything, like we're right there to clean it. Um, I do have extra staff in some of the classrooms so that we do have that uh, availability for teachers to quickly clean something um, before another child touches it. But she says it's all for the good of the kids and explains they've even worked out a system at the center's entrance to keep teachers, parents, and kids in safe contact through social distancing. A lot of our teachers are now taking kids to the door at the end of the day so that they get that connection with the families um, rather than, you know, since they can't come in. And the center also told me that the kids here seem to enjoy wearing their mask and showing them off to one another. And they also say that when they're outside or playing that they don't need to wear them outdoors. Reporting live in Saginaw, Jonathan Jackson, WNEM TV 5.